hello viewers and subscribers welcome once again uh, my new screencast this was the continuation of the the previous screencast like uh, 36.1.36.10 um, i already did screencast i didn't publish it yet but in the future i will publish that one the today that's at the last screencast i already discussed about the theoretical background the concept and ideas and the specification for the for the for the for the, for the software tools or for software implementations and i already started the implementation for the for the all the implementation for the all the uh, customized rest endpoints if you saw the project is already prepared i will show you detail how can you generate the project and import the project in the ide for my case i am using here that leaves ide you can use different IntelliJ ide or other or sts tools but this one can also be possible to use uh, for 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 your development as as ide so you see, if you saw that this is the project for the for the uh, for the registrations um, user registration api customized api generations and then there is a project for all the for the all the geo geo functionalities mean it means uh, your plot registration building registration flow registration and unit unit registration and then geometry storage the information that i i already discussed how it's worked and how that the development is done so then now let's start how can you uh, generate the projects uh, uh, from spring io or the spring initializer and then import this project into the your in any directory and then talk about little bit about hibernate orm and jpa so let, let's start to the start the projects so what do you have to go you can start spring io you know the everybody is this one here so there's a really good uh, web service tool web tools you can generate the projects and then import this project into the your local directory and then uh, unzipped it and import to the um, into the your respective ide so the what i did just 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 you see you see the your projections your maven projects for my case i i build a, as a maven is a building tools you can also go with the gradle tools and i have a different a project for the, the gradle for building tools so a language is java you can is also select the kotlin and groovy depending which one and i have a some this some example application with the GUI web application with the with the groovy and grails technology just look for the my previous example uh, screencast into my channels there is a three or four um, GUI development or font and development technology based on the groovy and grails technology and um, uh, groovy is the language in terms is written top of the java and then grails is the is the is the your font and technology the you you web page generations that's so you select uh, one of the language and for my case i select this one these versions you can select this one and then you put it your your respective ide uh, group id uh, group and artifact id name of the project description of the project and your base project uh, project uh, project name if you saw the here your base project means here you this is the your ide and then this is and so on so forth this is the the you you pom the xml file when you create it i will open it pom the xml later and this is your projects the base project structure ub subgroup and geo spatial uh geo spatial um, ub subgroup uh, geo spatial the rest apis so with the registration apis you see the registration api there's a different different base package and then after the package i will and um, package you have a specific uh, uh, poke, uh, package structuring i will discuss a lot this, this one later a little bit later when i generate the project so you you build the projects and then you can inject the, your dependency what you need just like for my case i need the dependency you can search it the web web dependency that's the web dependency you need you it's all selected and then you need the jpa for my case because we are using orm jpa spring and then it select and your driver uh, because we are and this postgres driver is this use the postgres driver and then you can use also the uh, rest uh, just the rest and endpoints this service and you can also use the dog and then you can actuator uh, that, that that's the, the things i already discussed about uh, how actuator works and then 
and then how can you integrate this actuator into the your developments that means when you uh, it was available in my channel in the someone in the maybe the screencast number 18 the discussion how the actuator works so that means it's automatically compile and manage your your your, your applications and your web services and the actuator dependency and then DevOps. Then I also also discuss these DevOps tools. That means and it's it's continuously when you did your changes in the in the source code, it's automatically compile and build your application in 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 the real in the real time. That's why you you if you don't need it, you can just omit it. But for I found really good in the professional level, if you add these two additional dependency just like add the dependency and build some uh, properties files uh, and then it works automatically when you select okay we did it all the dependency what we need for the for the applications and we select our your project name you generate just generate it it's generate the the the, the demo zip this one example it's not reality so you can go to the you download folder and and then here you see the you download folder and then you see that the, my last example like user registration zip and then I just copied it from from your cut and then you put it your where your workspace is located so then let's say we have a workspace like the spatial apps and then you put it here paste and then unzipped it and extract from here so it is done and then now we go to the your ide your respective id you just go there project import and then you existing maven project and then you browse your uh, browse your your workspace where you located this is the demo application and then you see that the, the pom.xml uh, even though you can select directly in the form of document this automatically generate and finish it and then this project is coming and uh, coming here uh, that's that's all so what i did like this one so now i cancel it back back it and then uh, and cancel so what so we generate the projects uh, we what we 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 need all the dependency injected from the from the from the from from spring io and then 